Welcome to Kids Church. I'm so excited. Who out there is ready to hear something from God's Word? I know I am. Okay, let me ask you another question. Who is ready to do some worship? I am too. Oh my goodness, it's going to be so much fun. Grab your sisters, your brothers, your mom, your dad, your grandma, your grandpa, whoever's in your house right now. Grab them, get them around the television, and be ready to hear something amazing about God today. I can't wait to join you. Jesus and Lazarus were friends. Lazarus lived in the town of Bethany in Judea with his sisters Mary and Martha. One day, Lazarus got sick. <laughs> Mary and Martha sent a message to Jesus. Lord, your friend Lazarus is sick, they said. Jesus told his disciples, Lazarus' sickness will not end in death. This sickness will bring glory to God and to the Son of God. Jesus stayed where he was for two more days. Then Jesus said, let's go back to Judea. By the time Jesus arrived in Bethany, Lazarus had been in a tomb for four days. Martha hurried to meet Jesus, but Mary stayed home. Martha said, Lord, if you had been here, my brother wouldn't have died. Martha knew Jesus could do a miracle though. I know God will give you whatever you ask, she said. Jesus replied, your brother will rise again. Martha believed that Lazarus would rise from the dead in the future on the last day. But Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me, even if he dies, will live. Everyone who lives and believes in me will never die ever. Do you believe this? Yes, Lord. Martha said, I believe you are the Messiah, the Son of God. Martha went back to her house. She told Mary that Jesus wanted to see her. So Mary left the house and all the people who had come to comfort Mary and Martha followed her. Mary fell at Jesus' feet and said, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. Mary was crying. Jesus wept too. Mary led Jesus to the tomb where Lazarus was buried. It was a cave and a huge stone covered the opening. Remove the stone, Jesus said. So the stone was moved aside. Jesus looked up and said, Father, I thank you that you heard me. Then Jesus shouted, Lazarus, come out. Lazarus came out of the tomb, wrapped in linen and cloth. Jesus said, unwrap him and let him go. When Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead, he showed that he has power over death. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. Jesus died on the cross for our sins and rose from the dead. He gives eternal life to those who trust in him. I'm gonna 
I'm Megan and I'm Jessie. Megan, my brother got in bad trouble yesterday. Uh-oh, what happened? He climbed up the slide at their girl way and would not come out. Oh no, my dad kept calling for him to come and he just stayed up there. My dad had to crawl up the slide to get him. Oh wow. I'm sure your dad was not happy about that. He was so mad. Well, today's Bible story is about someone Jesus called to come out of a tomb. And guess what? What? That person obeyed Jesus and came out. Listen to the story. Lazarus and Jesus were friends. One day, Lazarus got sick. His sisters, Mary and Martha, sent a message to Jesus. Lord, your friend Lazarus is sick, they said. Jesus said to the disciples, Lazarus's sickness will not end in death. This sickness will show how great God is and how great the Son of God is. By the time Jesus got to the place Lazarus lived, he was dead and had been buried in a tomb for four days. Martha hurried to meet Jesus. Lord, if you had been here, my brother Lazarus would not have died. But Martha knew Jesus could do a miracle. I know God will give you whatever you ask from him, she said. Jesus said, your brother will rise again. Martha believed Jesus. She thought Lazarus would rise from the dead at the end of time. But Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. He said that people who believe in him may die in their bodies, but God will raise them from the dead. Do you believe this? Jesus asked. Martha said, yes, Lord. I believe you are the Messiah, the Son of God. Then Martha went home to get her sister Mary. Mary came and fell at Jesus' feet. She said, Lord, if you had been here, my brother Lazarus would not have died. Mary was crying. Jesus cried too. Mary took Jesus to the cave where Lazarus was buried. A big stone covered the opening. Jesus told the people to move the stone. Jesus looked up to heaven and said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me. Then Jesus shouted, Lazarus, come out. Lazarus came out of the tomb wrapped in cloth. He was alive. Jesus said, unwrap him and let him go. Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead. He showed that he has power over death. Jesus died on the cross for our sins and rose from the dead. Those who trust in Jesus will live forever with him. Okay kids, are you ready to do the Go Beyond chant? Let's do it together. We look up and love God. We look in and know God. We look out and share God and we do it every day. Okay kids, we just finished church today and it was so fun. I'm so glad you joined us today. Parents, don't forget, click show more down below for awesome worship, really cool lessons, and fun activities for the whole week. 
so that you can help encourage your children learn about this awesome Bible story they just listened to all week long. Now, before we go, I want to make sure we pray, and then I hope you have an awesome week. Let's go to the Father in prayer. Father God, we are so thankful for you. We know that you are the creator of all things, but that you also love each and every one of us so much. Thank you for your son, Jesus, and for everything he did for us to show us how to have a relationship with you forever. We love you, God. It's in your name, Jesus, that we pray. Amen.